my figure shit Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to another weekly vlog. Happy Saturday. And we're about to go to the gym because I have not been able to go every day this week like I want wanted to, like I normally do. So for the next few weeks, I don't know, I'm not going to put that out there. But we're about to go to the gym on Saturday. Me and Keelan are going to go and I'm going to get her to record my workout for a change, like my full workout. And then after that, we're going to go grocery shopping. I don't know if we're going to do anything else after that or we're going to come home because it's hot outside, you guys. Like, hot. Y'all know. It's like 90-something degrees here. I just wanted to go ahead and come on here and do my intro so that I wasn't doing it in the gym. <laughs> she on set three on the, uh, what you call this, squat machine? I miss. We didn't record the first leg press. I did the leg press first. That was my first workout. This one I said. And I completely forgot that I had my camera. That fast. So y'all see me do this one. Man, she make it today, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, Keelan has been horrible at recording, <laughs> but we're doing these sumos in drop sets. So I started with 75, then I went to 70, 65, then 60, right after each other. I'm tired and I'm hot and I'm sweaty. They help you control this yourself? Huh? Hold your arm straight down like that. She was at dirt cheap. Hey y'all, so we're in Walmart. Um, grocery shopping. Getting some stuff. After uh, we just, like I said, we just left the gym. He, he was talking about I need to get that bag of pinto beans because I eat them a lot. I do not eat that many. That is a 20 pound bag of pinto beans. <laughs> but around the way these shelves are looking, there's something going on. Something happening that, um, we don't know that because these shelves are so empty in this freaking store i mean empty in bulk or is it because it's like one o'clock on a saturday and they hadn't restocked or the stock that they had from like last night or this morning is gone or something like it's insane how empty these shelves are you ain't even make a list of what you needed no i was just gonna jack food that because i'm like that I eat in between. Like this. 
stuff, but I don't really you know. <laughs> You're right. Okay, so. Do you be deep like wanting like breakfast food? You don't be up in enough time to even eat breakfast. I do like cereal. It's toaster strudels in there that I bought that I only pulled two out. I've seen it. I was looking yesterday. I'm like, I thought it was toaster strudels. I was wondering when it was out. Ate you ate yours. It's some of those in there. So you need buns. Or what kind of crackers? Something? Okay, okay y'all, so we finna finish grocery shopping. People looking at me so funny because I had this camera out. But I'm okay. <laughs> oh, look at these little outfits they got in Walmart. This, they got these little tennis skirt sets, but they only have them in extra larges in the black and white. They got all the coat, they got all the sizes in this top, but they don't have the matching skirts to it. It's so cute. How much is this? It's $13 for each piece. Super cheap. Are they? I want this so bad, but they don't have the skirt set. I don't need to be buying that anyway. Look at this, y'all. For somebody that don't blue do dogs, why is this dog in my house? <laughs> Keelan is dog sitting for my niece and nephew. And guess what? Keelan had work. So guess who's dog sitting? Me. Happy Friday, you guys. We are in here in the dark pretty much because I am, well, I just finished like doing some cleaning. I'm about to take time to edit. And then I'm going to record and then I'm going to take her out again. She looking at me and I'm looking at her and she looking at me and I'm looking at her and we looking at each other. She quiet. She a good dog. She just staring at me like that. I said, Keila, how you dog sitting and you at work? How? Literally, they dropped the dog off and Keelan went to work in the same minute. So I went to the gym, came back, and I've been dog sitting because I couldn't stand to hear her in the cage just crying. Oh, you tired? I guess she finally tired. But instead of getting in her little crate, she just copped her squat in the floor. Why don't you get in your crate? You don't, you don't want to get in your crate? Now she's going to get it. <laughs> Where you going? I put her little bowl and stuff over there. And then her little leash thing right there. And her little crate right here. And I got this huge roll up right here that I gotta unroll and poo where it's going. So never mind that. <laughs> Started watching Bridgerton last night. I know I'm late. But I didn't watch Queen Charlotte and what else? Is, is it another one? I've already watched those and I was like, well, I guess let me see Bridgerton because everybody keeps saying how good it is and it's actually good. I like it. So after I edit, record again, I gotta, I'm going to take a shower and then, well, I'm going to take her outside and then I'm going to take a shower. And then I'll sit down and watch Bridgerton after I edit that video too. But it's, a, it's funny. I don't have a dog. I hadn't had a dog since we were kids and it was an outside dog. So when I brought her in from her being outside like to use the bathroom, I wiped her feet off. And I feel like she was looking at me like, what are you doing? But is that normal? <laughs> so I was like, I just imagine if you're a dog, you're running outside in the dirt, sniffing the dirt and the grass and all that, trying to find somewhere to use the bathroom. So I want to wipe your feet off when you come in the house. I don't know, I didn't anyway, <laughs> but whatever, so, um, but yeah, and it makes me, I think she tired, because she keeps sitting down, then she'll get up, but um, maybe I should just put her in her crate and see if she'll go to sleep. <laughs> Take a nap, you tired, you like a kid, you been up early, so I know you got, you need a nap by now, but um, yeah, it's time for me to redo my nails too, y'all, like, I, I peeled this one today on the side, and then I peeled this one on the side, today it's focusing on something but not my finger anyways i peeled them on the side and i'm like and my thumb i did this while i was washing dishes i peeled that so when they when i feel that they getting soft or something actually these three i cracked on this and it's funny it's these three fingers 
I ended up cracking like a part of it. And once I cracked it, I started peeling. I got y'all so crooked. And once I cracked it, I started peeling it. So I was like, okay, I'm um, I'm off. And it's the weekend anyway. So it's time for me to redo them. This tomorrow makes two weeks. So yeah, tomorrow makes two weeks. So it's okay. I normally redo them every two weeks anyway. So twice a month is not bad. And I don't have to pay nobody to do them. So I might put clips of that in this vlog and then I'll probably close it out and start a new vlog or whatever. I'm going to take my braids down either tonight or tomorrow because it is time. Today actually was my hair appointment to get it redone, but I decided to wait. So as I, so if I don't went, I would be finishing up right now, I think. Depending on if I got to touch up or a full head. But yeah, I would have had a fresh hairdo. Anyways, I'm about to edit this video so I can eat and then I'll pick y'all back up later. She's sitting down again. She got to be sleepy because she hadn't sat down the whole time she's been here. Or either she's finally comfortable. Look at her. Can y'all see her? Look at her over there. <laughs> she didn't sit down finally, so I think maybe she's comfortable. She knows Keelan, but I don't play with her enough for her to know me. So, but this time, since I'm sitting with her then, I'm not her. And I didn't have no choice, but yeah, she tired, y'all. She done put her head down. Or either she meets her mama or her, her, her mama in her family. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck her butt. I feel bad. I know she missed them. Oh. She always with them, or one of them. And they all gone. My, my nephew had a, I can be whispering, like she a baby. My nephew had a game in Tampa today, in uh, Florida. So they all, my sister and her family, went down there for the game. And of course they're gonna be doing a whole bunch. So they don't wanna be dealing with a dog in the midst of that. So, oh, I think what's sad. Let me see if she'll go in her cage. Every time I move, you move. Come on, come take a nap, come on. Go in. Go in. Look at her. Look at her. Went in. Okay. I'm gonna close you in there now. She probably like, oh, she got me. Take a nap. <laughs> she probably like, I won't fall for that no more. It's okay. <laughs> I think she's gonna take a nap now. This way I can focus, because every time she move, I move. Because I'm like, she potty training, she house training and all that, but I'm like, if I, Lord, if I walk in some pee or poop, I'm gonna listen to her. Ain't been in there two seconds. You just take a nap. <laughs> she don't wanna be in there. Now she would just come out and sleep on the floor, but she not gonna go to sleep if she out here. I'm treating her like she is an infant. You need to take a nap. I'm not going to be able to take that whining and whimpering either. It made me feel bad. So I'm going to end up taking her out. Keelan was like, I thought you was going to be mean and leave her in there while I was at work. I said, this is like a little baby. Who can take that sound? The whining and whimpering like, oh my God, get me out of here. You got to be absolutely mean to just sit and listen to that and don't care. Especially in the mid of the midday, it's 12 o'clock. But she been up since seven. Before that. Cause they been up early. I'm gonna get quiet and then I'm gonna see if she'll take a nap. I'm gonna call y'all back. Hey guys, um, happy Saturday. I said on, the, on my last clip that I was gonna end this vlog out and I realized I don't even really have as much footage as I thought I did. I know I got some footage in my phone, but it's not as much as I thought I did, so we're going to carry the vlog on, I think, it ends tomorrow. So right now, I'm about to redo my nails. Sorry, right, it's dark. We're about to redo my nails. Um, this hand, literally, I have peeled off, and all I have left is my pinky. I broke all three of these nails, so they're really short. I was going to cut them down short anyways, but this hand is still... So I'm filing this nail down. That's why it looks like that. It won't focus. Okay, 
I'm filing this nail down. That's why it's ashy like that. These right here are still there and they're longer than I want, so I was gonna file them down anyway. This one I started peeling and I done filed it down too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my nails and the color that I think I'm gonna go with is Berry Blue by D&D. It's a royal blue color. I'm not gonna do a design or anything, mix match um, nails or anything like that this time. I'm gonna just do solid blue and then I guess a couple of the next time, because it's late right now. I think it's like 10 o'clock. What time is it actually? Yeah, it's 10 o'clock and I'm starting my nails. Even though I've started them later than this before, but when I did the designs, I did them early. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint them this color and just be, maybe I'll do a design on one nail on each hand. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm about to file. I'm just, I think I'm gonna let you guys see, but it's not gonna be a whole lot. Y'all will just see clips. It may not mean nothing to y'all. Understand nothing was done for me. So I don't plan on stopping at all. I want this shit forever, mine, never mind, never mind. Shut your shit down in the mall. It's Sunday, girl, she the one for me. And I ain't even planning the call. I want this shit forever, mine, never mind, never mind. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a spring ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city, faded off the ground. Nino, she insists she got more class. We know, swimming in the money, come and find me. Nemo, if I was at the club, you know I bombed. Chemo, drop the mixtape, this shit sounded like an album. Who'd have thought a countrywide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside an ex like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal, I did it with. Without one, yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a hit list. Everyone who doubted me is asking for forgiveness. If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness. Bitches, it may not be nothing to y'all. Understand nothing was done to me. So I don't feel no stopping at all. I want this shit forever, mind, never mind, never mind. Shut your shit down in the mall. It's a nigga, girl, she the one for me. And I ain't even planning the call. Statutory when a nigga blow up, they gon' build statues for me. Old money, Benjamin, boy, no, 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 no. Super bad chicks giving me big love. And you would think I ran the world like Michelle's husband. You would think these niggas know me when they really does. And like they was down with the only no, you fucking was. And it was. And uh, you're such a fucking loser. Can't even go to class. Bueller. Trade the Grammy plaques just to have my granny back. Remember she had that bad hip like a fanny pack. Chasing the star, I'm gonna turn you to a maniac. All the way in Hollywood, and I can't even act. They put the cameras out, and goddamn he snap. I used to want to stay forever, y'all can have it back. You may not be nothing to y'all. Understand nothing was done to me. So I don't feel no stopping at all. I want this shit forever, but I ain't never mind, never mind. I shut this shit down in the mall. It's Sunday, girl, you know what to me. And I ain't even planning the call. I want this shit forever, but I ain't never mind, never mind.
brush is thicker than I need it to be so it came out like this but anyways it's still cute hey guys happy Sunday I am whispering because I'm trying to not disturb the peace in here but I'm about to go to look, look, look at <laughs> she's so funny but this is what I'm wearing to brunch with my friend um, Michelle today we have not seen each other in so long and we're going to brunch at Half Shell Oyster House when I get back I'm going to take my hair down because the hair is done but I didn't want to be dealing with my hair this morning but well, well yeah because I knew I was going to brunch or whatever and then my toes jacked up too so I wore something wide enough to cover my feet but my nails are good <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to head out. Remy gonna be crying. Well, no, but she really keeling and she really loves keeling. That's who's sitting there anyway. Bye, Remy. Bye, Remy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's so funny. Never wrap my, my that big lump behind me. That's a rug, and I'm replacing my little rug that's right there. That's color, and this is all. This whole rug is off my hands a bit. So yeah. Bye, Amy. They want the man to pick her up. She's so small. But we put her little blanket right here because she kept coming here laying on the kitchen floor, I guess because it's cold. So I put her blanket there and she'll just randomly come lay on it. Yeah, you guys. Nothing on the face, as always, because I ain't got time. But yeah, we're about to head out. Um, I gotta stop and get gas because we're going to. Yeah, we're going to see Lexi. Hey guys, so I just, well, I just left um, Half Shell with my friend and I went by Marshall's to, because I yesterday I was, me and Keelan went to Walmart and I got me some chips, but I was like, once I got home, I was like, I don't want a crunchy, salty snack. I wanted something sweet, but at the time I was like I don't want anything sweet out of here I don't want any cookies or cake or anything like that and so I was like dang I wish I had some of my moose munch and it's the like they're kind of like munch, crunching munch not crunching munch yeah crunching munch the caramel popcorn yeah crunching munch the kind of like the caramel popcorn but um it's better it's like it tastes better and then it has chocolate pieces in it like they dip some of the popcorn in chocolate some of the almonds or like the um almonds or cashews will be dipped in like the caramel toffee or whatever i don't know y'all they just really really good and i when i eat the bags they come in, in like a box with a bag in there when i eat it it's like i always catch myself trying to save it like now they don't eat all that in one session it's weird because i'll be eating it and then I will get tired of my fingers feeling sticky and gritty. So I'll stop eating it because of that. But I literally could sit in one session and eat the whole box. It is that good. And so I went by Marshall's to give me a box and I was like, you know what? Maybe you should just get two. <laughs> so I got two boxes of it. Um, 
And another thing, if you go in Walmart and places like that, you'll pay it. The gas station, you'll pay like $2, $2.50 for a 20 ounce soda. Marshall's has their Sprites and Cokes and stuff like that. I was looking at the refrigerator, refrigerator while I was standing there. They're $1.39. I was like, wait a minute now. And I guess the other place is convenience, especially the gas station. So they mark them up because they know people are constantly stopping at the gas station, traveling, stuff like that. So, and people are going to grab them because they're thirsty and they want snacks. So they get them from there and it's like, y'all have marked these things up a dollar and 10 cent more, or at least a dollar more than other places. It's like, that is insane when I just saw them standing there waiting on the line to go down and saw the price and I'm like, hold on. That was just crazy to me, but this is the moose punch. It comes in a box like this and this is the stuff that's in it. Y'all, this stuff is so freaking good when I say I am so, it says the best popcorn on the planet. You ain't lying. It is so good. So I bought two boxes of it because I know how I am when I start eating these. I really don't want to stop. And this is my guilty snack. Y'all know I try to eat. Why not try? I eat healthy and all of this kind of stuff. So this is my guilty pleasure snack. Because when I eat chips, they're like plain Lay's potato chips. <laughs> Which are still good to me. And then I put hot sauce on them. So I still like those. But this is my guilty ple pleasure snack. Whatever. So I got two of them because I'm off tomorrow. And if I, I don't know if I'm going to stay up. I don't like to stay up late even when I'm off because I still like to get up early and go to the gym. I learned my lesson last week. One day, I think Thursday, 4th of July. And maybe because it was 4th of July, so so many people were off. I didn't go to the gym until like 9, 9.30, something like that, 10, somewhere in there. And when I got there, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. It was so many people in there and when I go to the gym at 6 o'clock in the morning it's like maybe 20 of us in the whole gym or whatever and we're spread out around the gym it might be it might be a little more I don't know anyways however many people are in there we're spread out so much throughout the gym that it's not it doesn't seem like it's a lot but when I went the 4th of July it was like oh my god you gotta be kidding me it ended up dying off like once I was there a while, like an hour or so, the people started leaving and it got really, really slow. Like I like it, but so it was okay. But when I got there, I was like, you got, what? Why are, so, are y'all here? Why are y'all not barbecuing? <laughs> I don't cook on the fourth because I don't barbecue. It, I don't say it makes no sense for me to barbecue. It really doesn't. I would be able to have like plant-based burgers or plant-based sausage on the grill if I did, but. Hey guys, happy Monday. So I am in the house about to record a video, even though I don't look like it, I look a hot mess, but I'm about to straighten some stuff up in my makeup room first and then I'm gonna record um, a video because I did not post yesterday. Even though I have a video that I need to edit, so maybe I'll edit that first so I can post it for today and then record. Or maybe I'll record first. Yeah, I'll record first and then edit. But I'm about to straighten some stuff up in my makeup room. So like I said, you guys, I am just cleaning my stuff up. As always, it seems. But I had this. I don't know why I pulled this out of the closet. This is my aunt made this for me. My aunt that just passed. Um, like, well, shoot. May. Y'all, it's been. Oh, my God almost two months because she passed away after I came back from my cruise like literally on my way home from my cruise but I think I went so in like a week or so it'll be two months that is so crazy how fast time is flying it's kind of sad and it's like making me feel sad because of just thinking about how fast time flies it just seems like it was yesterday but it was the month I mean, I'm sorry, I want to say we left to go on our cruise on May 9th. Anyways, it was in May, like towards the beginning, the first couple of weeks of May that she passed after I came back from my cruise. And here it is, um, July already. But anyways, like I was saying, like she made this for me and she gave it to me. And she was like, I'm going to make a bigger one. I don't know if she ever did, but this one is like... 
like it'll it'll um I mean you can see how long it is like if I'm laying down it'll cover like almost my whole body or whatever but like my arms and stuff will be out when I tell you guys this is extremely soft like let me see if I can get it to focus in like look how fluffy this yarn is like it is so y'all it feels like butter or whatever and she made this size she was like Nadia this stuff is expensive buying this type of yarn compared to like the other ones but she used to make she has made she used to make clothes oh my god saying used to is so crazy oh but she used to make clothes she was entering like the competitions in the fair for crafts and stuff like this and she won every single time because her stuff was immaculate like it was beautiful so i have this out and then i put it in the closet and then i took it out again for some reason i don't know why but i'm going to i wonder if i want to and my boyfriend was using it the other day. He was like, man, this thing is so comfortable. It's so soft. I walked in. I walked in here the other day. And he had it. And he was using it. I was like, um, I'm putting that back in the closet. I'm not using that because I snagged it. You can see I snagged it right here when I grabbed it. When I was taking it out of the closet. And I was like, I'm putting that back in the closet. Because I don't want it to get ruined. And no one else in my family knows how to do this. She was the only one that took time to learn this and she mastered it. And she's not here any longer, so I don't want to mess it up. Like, I want to keep it forever because, um, because of who, like, who made it. So I'm going, I wish I could get it sealed some kind of way to, you know, keep it perfect. Maybe I can, like, buy some kind of bag not nothing that'll make it sweat or anything something that'll still allow it to breathe but buy something so that I could put it in there and keep it protected because it just being in my closet like that every time I would go in there and move it that's why I kept snagging it in that same spot but but yeah like I said I'm I'm in here doing that so I'm just gonna sit this here on the edge of my makeup bed so I can you know keep it safe or whatever oh excuse me Look at me saying excuse me to my light. It's that's how much of a habit it is for me to say <laughs> for me to say excuse me to people. I bumped the light and said excuse me. That is so freaking crazy. <laughs> crazy. Hey y'all look how I got my camera and stuff set up. Oh, let me close this. So this is pretty much my setup for my camera, like my two lights here. I actually, this whole time was only using this light for this whole time, pretty much. Uh, maybe a year or so ago, every now and then I would have this one also. And my ring light, but y'all know my ring light is broken. But um, yeah, like I said, I only normally would use, we're using this light right here. But because this one has, as you can see this one, this battery pack right here. The battery pack right there on that one. I have two battery packs or whatever. And I bought one. This one has the cord. This one has the battery pack. And I bought the battery pack just in case. Um, I Because when you order these lights, they don't come with the lights. Is that not crazy? But when um, I bought this one so that when I decide to ever, you know, take time to go public places and take pictures, whether, especially like if it's at night or the sun is going down, I'll have like good lighting and I have my battery packs and don't have to worry about trying to find a plug or anything like that. So that's why I bought that one with the battery pack. But I pulled it out the other day because I was like, I need more lighting. Like this light was kind of giving me like spotlight um, and then it would be dark underneath the bottom of the camera like right there. But having these two lights both um, on it gave me like balanced lighting so to speak um and I feel like if I had like a soft box or whatever that goes right here in the middle this is where my ring light used to be but like if I got like a soft box or something like that just to add like a touch of like one more lighting it'll really really balance it out but I don't know these will work for right now they give me they give me the lighting I need <laughs> but yeah, I just keep it in place like this because I'm the only one that really comes. I'm, I'm not. 
I'm the only one that's I'm in here the most so we just keep it I just keep my stuff like this because I guess out of the way and if anything of course they can push the lighting out the way or whatever but I just keep it set up my chair is normally more so pushed that way and then sitting right there but in order for me getting in and out of the closet I have to move the chair I'm so glad that I moved my lash bed from over there to over here because now I get in my closet so much more because I don't have to move my lash bed I was needed to get in that closet a lot more than I used to, but I didn't because I didn't want to feel like climbing up, pulling my lash bag bed away, climbing over it, getting what I need to get, feeling like I couldn't open the door, then climbing back over it, pushing my, it was just too much. But now that it's open and I can just get to that closet, I'm in there a whole lot more. So I'm glad that I put my lash bed right here so when I'm lashing, I can watch TV. It's just, everything just fits. So like I said, I'm sitting here going through my samples to see like what videos that I'm gonna record real quick, like, sampling videos y'all so i have this sample that i ordered it was uh from gucci it's called the alchemist garden garden i think i placed it i didn't order this i think i when i ordered from sephora i want to say you know you can place like the samples and stuff like that in there i think that's where i got this from i'm almost positive that's where i got this from so the sample it, it's in a holster like this and the sample comes sitting in there like that. All the reviews that I have done, all the perfumes that I have ordered, all the samples that I have ordered, this has got to be the absolute worst. <laughs> so when people say that stink, maybe they're talking about something like this, but it's so crazy that like if you read the reviews on it, like I went on Fragrantica to look it up. First of all, it was hard to find on Fragrantica, so I don't even know if it's updated. Like when I typed it in Fragrantica, it wouldn't come up. But when I typed it in Google, it came up and it came up in Fragrantica, but it was, the only thing is they had the words flip flop from how I had them, but the same, the words were the same. So I went on there and I read the reviews through Fragrantica. This, perfume is what well, is fragrance it's so woody and smoky y'all this is a very it's strange okay somebody said it smells like death's breath some <laughs> death breath after vampire sex and it doesn't have a lot of, and it doesn't have a lot of notes in it. It has scent, it gives like hints of incense. Like I said, the the reviews are mixed. Like there are some people who love this fragrance and then there are some people who, somebody said it smells like death breath after vampire sex. <laughs> I don't know how, how one would know what that smells like. But that, when I read that I cracked up, I was like, that's how bad this is. Like this is, this is a very, unique scent I don't think I have ever smelled anything like this like so when people be like that stink I, I think this is what they be talking about braids are out alright you guys so my hair is washed um it, I looked at my hair like before of course before like how I look before I washed it and now that it's been wet and curled up and I was like why well, look while we eat it <laughs> but it's crazy how much your hair shrinks or whatever but my hair is extra clean my boyfriend used a uh, clarifying I think it's a clarifying shampoo or conditioner shampoo yeah shampoo a, clarif a clarifying shampoo on um my hair and when i say it feels squeaky clean i feel like it kind of made it shrink even more because it pulled of course it pulled everything out of my head um look how this is going to show you my hair is so this brown just <sighs> all the days when i used to dye my hair jet black i miss the jet black hair but what i'm about to do is y'all know i don't do oh where's my shoestring y'all know i don't do a lot to my hair when I style it, because I don't be feeling like it. Where's my shoestring though? 
technically I hadn't seen that in two months because of me well, there it is because of me um, having my braids in I got my <laughs> they've been in since I went to my cruise went on my cruise but I use a shoestring to do my pineapple um so well first I'm gonna put in this wild grow uh light oil moisturizer with hair store oil looks like that Why well, I look like my edge is gone on me say <sighs> so I'll make sure I oil my edges because it looks like they are which is crazy, that's why I get that style, so I don't know why they even look like that. They don't be thick anyways, but they really look like they're gone on this side. Eee! So, I put that in my scalp. So I put that in my scalp and I just make sure that I rub it in like really good. Well, massage it in really good. Okay, so for actual products, we we'll really, of course, it don't make no sense, y'all. I, how many times? Well, I don't. Y'all don't see me drop stuff a lot because I normally edit it out of my videos, but it's ridiculous how much I drop stuff. So, spray bottle with water. We're going to use. One of the things I'm going to use is because I'm trying to get rid of it, but everything else is what I normally use. So this is the um, TGIN Miracle Repair Curl Food Daily Moisturizer with black castor oil and biotin. So I just started using this like some, I can't say a couple months ago because my hair was up for a couple months. So before May, the beginning of May, I started using this. I want to say maybe like I bought this in March. Yeah, in March or whatever and use this to put in my hair when I first did it When I first did it and then throughout the week when I would have to refresh it I would use this again and I get this I got this from Marshall's. I also have the curl The styling gel that goes with it, but I'm not going to use that because I'm going to be using another one I uh, the leave-in conditioner that I'm going to be using is from my L. This is the pomegranate and honey and then I'm going to use this Aunt Jackie's, it's almost gone, this Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Custard. All right, and it is almost gone. This is the one that I'm trying to use up so I can go ahead and get rid of it because I told y'all a while ago that I was going to stop buying all these natural hair products because I, even though I wear my hair out a lot, it just makes no sense for me to have all these products. So I have actually been getting through my natural hair shell. It's, I'm doing good. Cause I have, other than the TGIN, I haven't bought anything else. Um, because I had so many different curl, defining custards, like all kinds of stuff. And I was like, I gotta get rid of this stuff. So I bought the TGIN because it's a hair food. Um, they curl like a curl food daily moisturizer. I feel like they be putting labels on this stuff just to get us uh, whatever. <laughs> but I was like, okay, I can use that as part of my refreshing throughout the week. The actual styling gel that I'm going to use as to why I'm not using the TGIN is this Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I really, really, really like this curling gel. I buy it over and over. I used to buy the e um, the, is it e not EOS. I was literally about to say it and it's the, the gel that's in the green container I was oh my god anyways I used to buy that until I realized that's not for our hair it's hard it's drying it will give you a slick back like no other but it's not for our natural hair or whatever and I noticed that I was like okay I didn't like how hard and dry and crunchy it would make my hair and I was like this can't be good for my hair so I researched it and I was like why have we been using this all this time I just think because it gave us a good slick back but it's not for our hair so I switched from that to this, and I love this gel for slicking down, for my curl definition, for everything. So, and I also use this, and y'all is probably like, God, Nadia, that's a lot. But all of it has like different purposes. <laughs> and then I use this Main Choice H2O Hydration Therapy Hydration Spray. If y'all have not, 
I, this is one natural hair product that I go through and I rebuy over and over and over again because when I tell y'all, of course we know our hair soaks up everything, most of our hair soaks up everything. The juiciness my hair has when I use this. Oh my God, I buy this from Salas. This is the only place that I know that carries this. I was gonna tell y'all the price, but it don't have it on here. And as you can see, I am almost out of this. When I finish doing my hair tonight, I'm sure this will be empty. So I'll have to go get another one because I cannot go with this out this when my hair is out. And for edge control, I use this edge booster that I also get from the hair store here. <clears throat> this is the best edge control that I have ever used. It really is. I use it for my edge. Well, I use it for it's it's an edge control, but I use it to slick the front of my hair down, like or my hair around the rim. I use it to make sure that like it's super flat, super slick because just gel, my hair will wave up really bad and eventually curl up and then it's soft with the gel or whatever because I didn't want hardening gel. It's soft with the gel, but with the edge control on top of the gel, my hair stays soft, but it is super duper slick and shiny. It just looks so good. So, yeah, this is the product that we're gonna use, and I'm not gonna talk no more. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna do my hair. <sighs> this is the part I hate. This is why I let me stop saying it. I shouldn't say that. Change your way of thinking, Nadia. Don't say this is the part you hate. Thank God that you have hair that you to actually style instead of complaining. But where my edges at though? This is what I'm looking at. Like this right here is gone. Oh my goodness. Let me see what that looks like when I brush it. It's so thin and I don't I don't do nothing to harm them like that. So I don't know why they're like that. Now I'm gonna be looking up stuff to see how to grow them back. Well grow my hair period of course, but really like get that because it's like it goes from thin, thin, thin to poop thick. So it's really, really noticeable. Man, it's crazy. But anyways, ain't nothing I can do about it right now. Y'all, one weird thing about me when I'm doing my hair, I hate for hair to be on my wet hands. So that is another reason why I don't enjoy doing hair. Like I've picked up every, I feel like beauty thing that I could do. Lashes, makeup, doing my own nails, hair. Oh my God, that is the one thing that I just be like, absolutely not. Cause even when I'm doing my own hair, you see how you get little specks of hair on your hands. I can't stand it. It drives me bananas. So that's why hair, hair couldn't be my thing. <laughs> Cause it, I can't stand it. I feel like I have to wipe and pull every little piece off that um, gets on my hands. It can't be no hairstylist being picked out or grossed out by hair. I should have used this before the curl custard, but it's okay. We'll do that now and then make sure it's, I do it at the right time throughout the rest of my hair. And y'all will notice if like the whole, like this frowning that I'm doing, I just looked at myself, that's what made me think about it. The whole time I do my hair, I'm frowning like that because I do not like hair on my hands. <laughs> Weird. So that's what it looks like. And then the last thing I'll put on it is this spray.
And I gotta watch how much I spray because it's not, it's not a lot in there. So I can't spray it like I want to. This is what it looks like. And it's crazy because I'm do all this to not be able to wear it down and pull it up in a pineapple. God, my edges are really gone right there. I didn't even edge control my edges a lot this time because I was trying to make sure, okay, Nadia, constantly putting that little brush on people's edges, you know, on your edges, I feel like it thins them out. And so I purposely didn't do it a lot this time. Like, I just kind of let my edges, like, free fly because I didn't want to take a chance of, met, like, I didn't lose it anymore. And it still did it. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do the rest of I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I'll pick y'all back up. Her, but she likely to end up ordering from her. Like babies. That's crazy. 